What's up? It's IronGadrone.com, and today I'm going to be trying to fly my uh, F450 flame mill knockoff. I know I need to flash the board with the newest firmware. I'm just waiting on my USB adapter in order to do it, so I figured I'd try some new settings. Got this one off a YouTube video. I got the gain all the way down at zero on the self-leveling. Fire it up, see what's going to happen. Whoa, immediately came back directly at me. Um, so let me see what I can do. I'm going to need to make some adjustments on this, see if I can raise that gain level. All right, so the gain level has been raised, so we're going to go ahead and try this again. And uh, we're going to get a lift off here. Um, I'm happy to give it a little bit of pitch to get it off the ground, but we are off the ground. Very, very unstable. Uh, a lot of pitch, a lot of roll as far as the angle goes. Uh, I feel like I could possibly flip it over. Uh, if not flown correctly, it's rotating very, very hard to the right on the yaw uh, axis there. It continues to rotate. Um, so I'm going to probably need to trim that up. Um, the throttle keeps dropping out. Um, I even adjusted the throttle on the controller uh, for the throttle curve to give it a little bit of power, but then it started to affect. Sorry, I was in the ground affect the uh, ability to be able to arm and disarm uh, the board oh and we're down so I'm gonna have to take another look at it see if I can make a few more adjustments to this uh, settings that I, I got online see if this will help okay so made some more adjusting now I adjusted to the auto leveling uh, as well as P and I so we're up uh, as you can see it's rotating to the right um, it's a little awkward as far as the way it's flying, it's scooting back, uh, luckily I'm flying in the grass, so back to more adjustments. Alright, continuing to try to get this right, see if I can find a happy median. So, got a lift off here, um, again, as you can see the motors are rotating it towards the right, but uh, I am able to fly, I got a little bit of uh, control over it but it's still very shaky very wobbly um, increased the uh, P gain it was very very low as well as the P limit so we'll see what happens here um, but the wind is starting to pick up just a little bit throttle still having an issue so I'm gonna land it and I'm gonna try to make a few more adjustments to this thing Okay, so made some more adjustments here to the PNI settings. So we're got lift off again, it's drifting backwards and it's rotating pretty crazy. Um, I went ahead and I adjusted some settings there in the auto leveling on the uh, ACC gain, uh, trying to get it from rowing to the right as well as pitching backwards. Um, still manually fighting this considerably. You can see it it's, keeps on wanting to twist and rotate. Um, fighting it and we're down. So uh, a little frustrating but not much I can do. I still got the old firmware on there. I'm going to have to flash the new stuff when I get it but let me try to make some more adjustments here. Okay, more adjustments made. Uh, going to go ahead and try to take this off. At this point I'm just kind of playing around with it. It's coming straight back at me. And you know, I'm consistently having to manually input, especially hard on the rudders in order to get it to stabilize straight in front of me. I'm not even trying to fly it out, uh, do any turns or anything like that. I'm just trying to get this thing to stay level. Maybe I'm uh, asking a little bit too much and we're down. So. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reset the board on the KK 2.15 and see if that will help out. Okay, so the board has been reset. Uh, everything's back to factory stand settings. So we're going to lift off here. Had to give it a little bit of pitch in order to get it off the ground. It's not drifting back as bad. Uh, still a little bit wobbly. Throttle dropouts. Um, but overall much, much better than the previous settings. And I just found somebody with a quadcopter similar to mine on YouTube, so I figured uh, their settings might work for mine, but unfortunately they do not. Um, so now we got a little bit more control over it. 
not rotating as bad, but uh, the oscillation there didn't look very good. And I'm still pretty new, so I don't really know what I'm doing uh, adjusting the KK 2.15 and touch and go there. But uh, keep trying. Uh, you know, obviously it's flying a lot better now than it was a few minutes ago, but still a lot of heavy pitch and roll angles there. And we're down. So I'm going to adjust it again. Um, see if I can. Okay, so I worked on the uh, auto leveling uh, as far as the ACC settings to try to get it from coming back straight at me. So it looks like a, that helped out a little bit as well as to get it from rolling to the right. I adjusted the ailerons, uh, cranked up the throttle trim too as well. Uh, hopefully we can get it to stay in the air a little bit more. It's a little bit more stable now. Uh, the wind's picking up just a tad bit. Um, I got a 2200 milliamp 3S battery. Almost hit the ground there. In here, uh, we're running at probably about five, six minutes. So we're still flying, so getting some good good time out of it. I got uh, 1045 just plastic propellers. Oh, oh, almost hit the ground. Uh, still up and trying to get this to at least be somewhat flyable. Um, I haven't even tried to fly it out and do any turns. I'm just trying to get it stable in front of me. And I'm going to keep messing with these settings. And, you know, this all might be you know, worthless because uh, I do need to flash this board. Um, but once I get the, the USB uh, flash cord, then I'll be able to do that. But until then, I'm just going to mess around with it and uh, see if I can get this thing to work out. So we've been up quite a bit. We got a little bit more control over it. Still quite a bit wobbly. Uh, I, my auto leveling uh, P gain is roughly around 75. So maybe I need to reduce that to get a little bit uh, lighter craft uh, without as much oscillation or touchy, but at least we're we're flying. So that's plus. Um, it's not drifting as bad. Oh, we're down. So just when I said it, that's when it happens. So let me get back to this. And I'm going to adjust some settings. All right, so adjust to the settings again. We're going to give it another shot, see if we can get it up there. Battery's probably running low right now. Um, we got lift off, so it seems to be hovering good. No real back drift. Not drifting too for bright on the yaw. Um, still a little cockeyed. Not the greatest handling. Maybe I'm expecting too much from this. I figured it at least fly as good as some of my cheaper drones or my minis um, but you know it could just be the settings I might have a bad ESC it was a little bit warm to the touch even without flying so uh, you know I'll have to look into that and see but uh, right now we're up again so I'm going to try taking it out for some turns see how it handles um, this throttle it just continues to drop out on me Consistently fighting it and try taking it for a few more turns, some rotations, seeing how it handles. Um, you know, it's consistently fighting it. I want to get this thing figured out. It looks cool, uh, very powerful. So, we'll continue to work on it, see what happens. So, I'm going to bring it down for a landing, make some adjustments. Alright, so I made a few more adjustments to auto leveling, PI settings. We're going to take it up for another little bit of test flight here, see what we can do. Hovering nice and easy now, not as bad. There's no backward roll to me or backward pitch to me. There's uh, no yaw rotation there. So I got a nice little hover on. I'm running on about 9, 10 minutes. Uh, flight time so the battery's handling pretty well um, as you can see the, the back end is getting a little bit wobbly and loose on me here so um, you know I guess it's the best I can do for now I'm just gonna continue trying to fly it 
mess with it, get a little bit used to it. And I just hooked up a new Turnigy uh, 9X transmitter. Uh, so I want to get a feel for that too as well. Um, but this throttle dropout is pretty consistent. As you can see here, it just continues to drop low. Um, and I got to keep fighting it as well as, you know, consistent pressure on the uh, right stick on the rudder and we're down. So I think we're probably out about battery right about now. So I'm going to take a look at it really quick. So the battery's dead. I'm going to try it again tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I'll have my USB uh, cord in the mail so that way I can flash it. But this is my F450. Um, I know this isn't probably going to help out too many people, but maybe somebody can watch it for me and let me know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below.